Hey guys, I wanted to come on here for just a few minutes and explain, um, long story short, the urgency of the times that we're in. And my focus on this video is to direct you to the Lord Jesus Christ. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up with the gospel message, okay? Um, so if you don't know Jesus, this is what you have to do. You simply, you turn from an old lifestyle of sin and you repent. You know, the Bible says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And see, Jesus, although he was tempted in all the ways that we were, he did not sin. And that's what the Bible says. So you turn, you repent. And repent means to turn from an old lifestyle, okay? And I'm going to try and keep this simple. Romans 10, 9 says this. If you confess Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, that you will be saved. All right. So in that, if you can declare that um, and, and you're turning in your heart, you've turned from an old lifestyle of sin to Jesus and what he has for you, you're already saved. But it has to be a heart thing. You have to mean it. OK, um, so I want to implore you. The times we're in are very urgent. And as a believer who has been watching for the body of Christ and watching for other people to know of Jesus' soon rapture of his church, I'm telling you, things are coming together. This, this season we're in looks to be very prophetic, okay? So some of you have been following my post on like the different, you know, like Genesis 114 says that God put the sun and the moon in the sky for, for appointed times and how important that is. And now there's evidence from a lunar calendar, from the actual lunar calendar, some people call it the Enoch calendar, that Feast of the Trumpets, which I've been talking about a lot, Day of Atonement and Day of um, Feast of Tabernacles look to be converging onto the same day because of various signs in the heavens. And the Bible talks about how in the end times there's going to be great signs in the heavens, all right? So keep that in mind. That particular happening points to the end of this month, possibly the beginning of November. Also, Daniel 9 verse 27, that's actually a verse about how the Antichrist will confirm a covenant for seven years, and it's about the peace treaty. And what, what the word means, and I don't remember the exact word, but if you look, it says that this would not happen unless there's a physical unless there's a departure, and if you look up that word departure in your Strong's Dictionary, it means, it implies that there's actually a physical departure. So a lot of people that are Christians are saying that it actually means not just the departure of the church from the faith, but, but also a physical departure of the church, okay? That has to happen before the Antichrist signs the peace treaty, okay? So there's talks, and I shared something on my page earlier, there's talks about possibly having the final product ready for the peace treaty, if possible, by the upcoming election, okay? So really, it's time for everybody to wake up, okay? It's time for everyone to um, turn to Jesus because guess what? The Bible says, if you're in the Lord, it says we are not appointed to wrath, okay? There is a time coming and the time is of judgment. It's that one seven year period, everyone in the Christian world, not everyone, but a lot of people have been talking about for a long time. That's gonna happen, okay? But Jesus is the ark. He's the only way out. The good news is Jesus. He's literally the only hope. I'm not saying this to scare, scare you guys. I'm saying this to point you to Jesus, all right? Um, something else happened that was really significant. I can't think of it, so I'm sorry. I haven't been sleeping that well, but so I want to implore you, okay? You really need to have Jesus in your heart. I love you guys. I'm here. If you have any questions, you can you can um, ask them in the comments that section, or if you're on my Facebook page, you can message me. I'd be happy to talk to you. But but this is a really urgent thing, guys, and I really believe I really believe we're gonna we're gonna leave. And I think I got confirmation of that the other day. So the other day, I heard six loud knocks while I was listening to a video, which was a rapture video actually. And it was two sets of three. And um, it was really loud, like, a, like it sounded like a big door with one of those big metal things on it. And I went out in the living room, I asked my husband, I'm like, did you hear that? He said, no. Um, I went in the room, 
I listened to the video again. I didn't hear anything. There was no sign of that sound. So I knew probably that Jesus was knocking on the door. I went outside and I saw a giant handprint in the heavens. Okay. And I saw to the right of that eyes. Sounds crazy, but it's the truth. And I believe Jesus, when, when I watched a video by a watchman named Barry Scarborough, he mentioned that he heard a knocking sound like the other night or last night and that he believes Jesus is at the door. And that's when it dawned on me that, that he was trying to tell me that he's at the door. All right. So please invite Jesus into your heart. And if you're a Jesus follower, but you're not walking closely to him, remember the parable, the foolish and wise virgins in, in Matthew 24, the ones that didn't have the oil, didn't have enough oil, but were left behind. And I think that there's going to be some Christians that are not walking on the path that might get left behind. So I um, hope that encourages you guys to be close to him. All right, I love you. I hope you have a blessed day. And don't be scared, but be prepared.